Hey guys, welcome back to another retro unboxing, and this is actually an, emer an emergency unboxing because, as you can see up here, this box is pretty trashed. Um, it's got a little bit of a dust and debris on it, and the doll's actually starting to get a little damaged in there uh, from being exposed and not exposed to um, moisture and not moisture, and we got a little bit of uh, evidence of that on her nose, and I, I don't know if it's repairable or not. I, I can try and see. Uh, but she is um, from a, a collector's edition. She is from the Enchanted World of Fairies collection, and she is second in the series. Um, I'm not sure. Somewhere in my findings, I might have more from this collection. But we're going to start with the second, so we're going to start off, start off filter. Uh, like I said, she's from the Barbie collectibles. Um, I think... So it says, yeah, for, for, for ages 14 or up, she's for the adult collector Barbies. Um, I don't know what year. It's it's labeled 2000, so uh, it either came out at uh, in 2000 or in 2001, depending on I guess the, depending on the release date. Somebody else out there might know. It says, "Fairy of the Garden Barbie." In a world of visions and gossamer dreams, in a field steeped with mischief. And magic moonbeams. Some say the fairies dwell. In a space where imagination runs free. And all the wonders of the world come to be. Some say the fairies have afternoon tea. Then cast their magic spell. And if you believe what some say is true. The fairies might appear and bring enchantment to you. And will make your wildest dreams come true. Some say, when fairies do what they do. Barbie doll shimmers in soft shades of pink. With glimmering wings, she's quick as a wink. She has pointed ears and fairy-like shoes. And tends to the flowers and brings them good news. Do you believe in fairies? Whether they appear as winged spirits or as playful gnomes, fairies somehow help us recapture the wonder and wit of our childhood dreams. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that little... They, a lot of them have a little saying on the back, a lot of the earlier ones. New ones don't necessarily. Uh, there's a little picture on the bottom here. And then... Uh, all this beautiful, it almost looks like, well, it, it's printed, but it's like a printed painting. It's really, really pretty. Gotta do a little bit of editing to that because, uh, I had to squint a little bit to see. <laughs> so yeah, there's the whatever's left of the box. And then this cute little background with the flowers in there. So we're gonna get her out, uh, assess maybe the damage. I think she might be pretty much okay. Uh, but like I said, there is sometimes a danger in storing dolls in their boxes if you don't have a climate controlled environment to store them. And then of course, if you have, uh, if they're in an attic where people tend to, um, up and down and put things and move things around so that they're also not protected if they're not in some kind of area where it's not, uh, where it's free of scampering. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get her out of her box. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the, the damage to the box has actually made it clear to me that it's not savable. But uh, in making this video, I will remember that she's the second in the series and somehow try to dig her up the first. So I'll be right back, guys. So before we, so before we get to talking about the doll, we'll, I'll show you what else comes in the box. You have this white, um, hollow, pretty sturdy stand that has little slip-resistant grips on the bottom so it can stand anywhere. And then you have this clear part that clips into it. Um, that's going to be your stand. We also have the a certificate of authentic, authentic, an official certificate that tells you that she's the collector's edition and she's not a fake. This is second in the series, and then it says that it was created um, through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel to reflect the enchantment and beauty of the fairy kingdom. Uh, also in there you're going to find your two-year warranty, which is obviously completely out, and a card for registration, uh, registering registering your doll through the mail. My tongue is twisted today. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our 
that part off there. And we'll take a look at our fairy here. Okay, so here she is. Um, our fairy of the garden. As you can see, uh, she's got a lot of soft pinks on her. She does have wings. Uh, let me see how the wings are attached here. Okay, so I think the wings are part of her dress. They might, they're sewn into the fabric. Her hair's very flat from being in that box. But she does have product in it, so I think it can be unflattened maybe. Yeah, so she has um, a lot of product in her hair to keep those soft curls. But like I said, the way she was put in the box, it definitely flattened it. So I could probably work with it. But uh, it's um, a really light brown. I guess that's the color you want to go with. Uh, light brown. And... Okay, this, this, we're looking at the back of her right now. So the wings don't have any color on the back. But they do have um, a lot of glitter and paint on the front. You can see um, some yellows, some oranges, some pinks, some light pinks. And then it's like a purpley pink glitter that's just all over it with purple painted dots. Almost, they almost have like a like a feather, a feathery look, which I guess is good, considering their wings. Um, let's see. So also, she has this headdress on here, that's uh, made of uh, fake leaves. They are silky. They're silky leaves, and they're sewn into her hair, with uh, this little twig-looking thing on the top here, that is uh, brown, but it's covered in that same glitter that's on the wings. The headdress looks like it ties on the bottom here. Uh, let me just check to see if that is part of, of the, uh, yeah, so, uh, her headband just does tie with a green ribbon on the bottom, so I guess it is removable if you really wanted to remove it. I'm not going to. Girl's having a hard time here. She's almost, like, flying on her stand. I guess that's maybe the look. Uh, her face paint, her face itself is very bronzy, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. It's got, like, a, a bronzy metallic kind of color to it. And then she has a really light pink eyeshadow that goes way above her eyes, on right under her. You can kind of see it right under her eyebrows, that are um, a light brown that match her hair. Her eyes are a hazel color, and then she has a different color um, eyeshadow, more almost kind of a pinkish white, like a white pink uh, color right above her um, eyelids themselves, and long eyelashes. I really like the paint detail on her face. And then she has a, a dark pink lip that it has a, a like a more of a redder color lip liner around it. If you look really close, you can tell. You can see that dot on her nose. That is some sort of um, not, I want I want to say vinyl mold or something like that. And it's what happens when when dolls of this type of material get exposed to um, like moist situations where yeah, like a hot attic or or a moist basement can sometimes do that. If they're not in a good, uh, if they're not in a good seal. But, uh, like I said, I might be able to do some product to get that off. Now, her dress itself, um, I don't know what kind of fabric this is. Because I'm not fashion, I'm not fashion orientated enough to know what fabric is what. But, it has a, um, a nice solid light pink fabric on it. And it's, there's a, it's sewn on and lined with um, a mesh that has a little bit of glisten and shine in it, you can see. And the mesh is also tinted pink. It moves down to here, and you can see the different layers. Kind of looks like, it's supposed to probably look like a flower, because it would make sense, because she's a garden fam fairy. And, oh, here, you can see um, that the fabric itself underneath is almost like a, almost ribbony. No, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's like ribbony silk. <laughs> And then she also has, her shoes are neat. Her shoes ha are like a, a pleather. I don't know if they're real leather. I'm, I'm assuming they're pleather. Um, and they um, come to a point, And then they kind of wing up on the top behind her ankles. So those are pretty neat. Now, as for articulation, uh, she, the um, older Barbies don't have much. And they're not meant to, they're kind of just meant to be ornaments. But uh, she has, her head goes back and forth. It's on that regular old-fashioned Barbie joint, which they probably still make today. Uh, she has a shoulder joint. Goes, her arms go up and down and back and forth. And then her, she can sit or stand. And she has the click, the click knees. Um, she doesn't have sticky fabric, which is good, because you, you, I mean, sticky fabric. She doesn't have sticky vinyl on her legs, which is good, because sometimes they do, depending on how they've been stored. But um, I'll just go ahead and do a final spin for you guys. I don't know how many are in her series, but like I said, she's the second 
one in the series. And I'm assuming 2000. 2000 or 2001. Um, that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing. It was definitely an emergency. <laughs> and if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. A little bonus footage and slash update. <laughs> After I ended this video, I took a little warm cloth and put it to our face. And check this out, guys. It wasn't what I thought it was. I don't know if it was a dab of dirt or a dab of insect poop or what it was. But look, it came right off. So I'm pretty excited. Her face is so much more clean now in Palestine. That's all. <laughs> See you guys.